People have told me to go back where I come from so many times. I was having some conflicts with a girl in school and, you know, that's just the card that she decided to pull, you know, like, go back to where you came from. I was really shocked. I didn't really know what to say. I mean, when you're confronted by someone who's so hateful for no reason, it's, you're just, I was at a loss for words. I've been told to go back to the country where I'm from, uh, more specifically to go to a nail salon where I belong uh, by a girl who was upset that I was dating my then African-American boyfriend um, in middle school. I mean, I was this, I was this uh, eight-year-old kid, you know, in South in Southwest Houston, actually, at the time, walking to the store, and these two uh, older Caucasian gentlemen told me that on, as I was walking, they pulled up beside me and told me that, called me the N-word. I, I, I didn't know what was going on, but now, you know, I, I think, how can two grown men have the audacity to tell a child that? <laughs> A Guatemala le dio risa porque ella es nacida acá. Yo soy de México, pero mi hija es nacida acá. It made me feel angry because I was born here, I was raised here, I speak English, I speak Spanish. I feel like I have a right to be here just as much as anybody else. When I hear someone say to go back to the country where they belong, it makes me realize that there's such a prevalent anger and hatred of ethnic people in the United States of America. A kid named well, I don't want to say his name. It could be me. Um, he, I was talking to him about ramen noodle, and he said, where are you from? I said, Korea. And he said, are you from North Korea? You could be dangerous. You should go back to your country. You could be related to Kim Jong-un. Are you a secret spy? I'm like, no. To hear the same words that came out of the mouth of like a sixth grade girl come out of the mouth of the president of the United States of America, is really shocking to me.